Organizers of the Sanford International Golf Tournament are calling in the ultimate blow drying equipment. A helicopter is due to buzz the course soon as part of the effort to dry off from all of this heavy rain. Kettleman's Perry Groton is keeping a lookout for the chopper and joins us live from the Minnehaha Country Club. Perry. Well, Angela, I've been scanning the skies from the ninth floor here at Minnehaha Country Club. Haven't seen any sign of a helicopter airborne yet, but just yet, but we have been getting some glimpses of sun trying to crack through the clouds. Now, I want you to tell you what's going on right now as far as getting this course dried out. You see a crew there using with a backpack powered uh, machine, which is essentially a high powered leaf blower. They've been blowing out a lot of the water that's in the bunker here on the ninth floor. That's part of the ground effort to dry out the uh, golf course. And, the, and of course, this helicopter is from Sanford Health. They'll also be joining in the effort to get this course ready ahead of tomorrow's opening round. The Squeegee Brigade is sloshing through the waterlogged parts of Minnehaha Country Club ahead of the Sanford International. The grounds crew is careful not to go overboard with the squeegeeing when there's this much rain. Well, sometimes you, know, you get a little too aggressive when there's too much water or you squeegee too early and then the water will accumulate again and then you try to go out and squeegee again. Now you're actually hurting the grass. Organizers are confident the Sanford International will be on schedule for the opening round on Friday. We have a wonderful property, and we, we want to make sure and showcase this property. And Mother Nature kind of put a, put a little tear on us, a whole bunch of them. A helicopter flyover should help dry off the pockets of water that have accumulated throughout the course. They need 100 foot of clearance, and they can kind of dive in and, and uh, hopefully just blow the water right out of these bird baths and get them outside the ropes. Organizers say they're not disappointed by all the rain that's fallen ahead of the tournament. They say bad weather is just part of the game, even when Mother Nature furnishes her own water hazards. Well, we've been tracking the progress of this grounds crew here on the ninth floor as they work this uh, sand bunker over here. You can see them uh, scooping up the water in buckets and throwing it out there, getting the course ready for tomorrow's opener. Now, Mother Nature should be a big help once the, the weather passes. Uh, the, the wind in the forecast should be a help in drying out the, the golf course because the uh, Minneapolis Country Club has been removing several trees over the past several years to clear open more open spaces to get the wind blowing and get the wind to do its work. Reporting live from Minnehaha Country Club, I'm Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Stay dry, Perry. Stay dry. Well, if you have a note, uh, we have a note for you. If you're planning to head to the tournament, the main public parking has changed due to the rain. It's been moved from the fairgrounds to the Empire Mall, and you can enter by Macy's.